Initially, I got it because it was so reasonable. I think I might have got it for $25. And I was like, okay, I'm going to get it. But the notes... Hello, and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kalyan Ari. And on this channel, we talk about fragrance layering or various fragrances that are in my collection. Uh, if you've never heard of me, right, this is your first time happened to come across my page. Someone shared it. It popped up on your For You. Then welcome. I'm so happy that you are here. My first recommendation is to follow me on all my social medias. Uh, there you will find out what I'm wearing daily. That's what I put on Instagram. Uh, various different uh, layering options that I have. I put that on TikTok. So I would recommend you follow all of them so that at some point throughout the week, you'll get a dose of me. And I hope you stay and enjoy yourself. Please subscribe, join the community. I like to talk back and forth, uh, get options. This is really your channel. So if you tell me about it, then I'll probably try to see if I have something or try to find something to layer it. But to all of my returning subscribers, I greatly appreciate you. But today, what we are going to talk about is a Middle Eastern fragrance. So we're going to jump back into Middle Eastern fragrances, and I'm going to give you a sneak peek. It's Yaquin. Yaquin by Latafa. Gorgeous bottle, but even better fragrance. So if it's something that you are interested in and you want to hear more about this particular fragrance, then please stay tuned. All right, so let's jump into it. Your queen, your queen, Ad Adasfa is what I want to say it is. But of course, you know, I'm going to have it listed across the bottom because I am known for chopping up a name. Uh, but this fragrance here is for someone who's into citrus, right? So you like a switch citrus, you like orange, and you like fruity notes, right? This is your fragrance. Not only is it affordable, but the packaging, the packaging is absolutely gorgeous. Like it's just gorgeous. It looks beautiful in the collection. Uh, initially I got it because it was so reasonable. I think I might've got it for $25. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get it. But the notes that is in it is fruity notes, tangerine, jasmine, ylang ylang, vanilla, sandalwood, and white musk. So you do have to like white musk. I will tell you this, this freak, this one here for Latafa is one of the ones that's more light. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of longevity to me. Uh, this is one I do have to often spray on my clothes to kind of get the smell. And somewhere in this video, I'm going to tell you about a layering combo that only enhances it. It makes it 10 times better. But this is one that you can wear by yourself. But that to me is just this particular fragrance is just citrus, that tangerine, that jasmine, and then the white musk. That's mostly, that's mostly what I get. That is, that is really predominantly what I get. It's a tangerine. It's almost like a, um, a burst, a burst of tangerine. Like when you first pull in the, pulling it off, right? <laughs> that's what you get. But that's only in the opening, and then it's a typical vanilla and ylang ylang. The sandalwood is very faint, um, but then the musk comes in. It's a it's a really not it's a non offensive fragrance. This is one of those fragrances that you probably can wear to work. But I want to tell you about what can you layer it with. All right, what can you layer that fragrance with? And I'm talking about your Quinn. Right? What can you layer this with that would give it more longevity? Juicy Flower by Monsera. Juicy Flower by Monsera is a, it's just a, a floral balm. It's an absolute floral balm. And this fragrance, when you layer it, you want to, I'm going to give you the technique. You want to put the strongest fragrance down first. So this is your skin and you're putting the strongest fragrance down, right? And then you kind of want to let that kind of settle for a while um, so that you can get, it can start to do what it needs to do, right? And then after I say about five, 10 minutes, go back in, not directly where you sprayed it, but in the area of where you spray it. Because what you want is both of the fragrance to stand out. And if you put it where you sprayed it at, this is good. You're going to get the berry fruits, 
and pear and uh, pink pepper and rose that's in juicy fruit. A juicy, Lord, I always say juicy fruit, juicy flower. <laughs> and the orange tangerine note. That's the first to, to combine. And it just becomes this fruity bomb, right? And then it's going to start to settle in and you're going to get that jasmine, ylang ylang, the sandalwood. It's going to start to blend with each other, right? And then your base of it, when I wore it out, that raspberry just jumped in from nowhere. It was, it was great, right? And like I mentioned before, the original fragrance, your queens, has white musk. It's just white musk. Well, then also in Juicy Flower is the white musk. But the difference is it also gives you armor grease. I'm telling you, if you have a chance to get this one and you can find it on Amazon, and you have Juicy Flower in your collection, be it a decant or you have the actual bottle, combine them. You will be totally impressed. All right. So we talked about your Quinn Adasfa, I think it is, by Latafa. And if you happen to have that fragrance in your collection, then tell us about it in the comments. What do you wear it with? Do you find that it has more longevity on your skin than maybe the longevity that I said it has on my skin? What do you do to enhance the fragrance? Because for me, I think that is, is a very light, unoffensive fragrance, but I think it needs a little boost. So in the video, I told you how I boost the fragrance. If you have opportunity to try those two out, then come back and tell us about it and see if, and tell me if you enjoyed it. I always love doing this with you. This is amazing for me. I get an opportunity to talk about my fragrances. So on that note, I'm going to bid you a good night, a good day, a wonderful afternoon. Whenever you have opportunity to watch this, my only request is please share it so more people can join our community. And I'm going to bid you a wonderful day. And I will see you in the next video.